What's up, everybody? Heading up Highway 1, going to Bodega Bay, gonna go meet with Rick Powers. Rick Powers, captain of the new Sea Angler out of Bodega Bay Sport Fishing Center. Um, I'm also president of Golden Gate Fishermen's Association. I'm gonna do some video production out there on the Sea Angler. Porto Bodega Marina, and I'm heading up early, so hopefully I'll find me a little spot and try to get me a little fish on, do a little ninja stuff. So first I drove around checking out some different areas. The waves were crashing really hard on the beach. The water was really dirty and mixed up, and it was low tide, so I decided not to do any fishing there. And I found a spot here, it doesn't look like a great spot, but it's a fishable spot, so I'm going to give it a shot. And I saw some guys down there doing some fishing, so I went over and talked to them. This is Mike, and I'm Hector. Oh, a little shit. It's a little guy. These guys are over here getting some crab. When I first came up here, uh, Hector pulled in two at a time, a nice yeah. male and a female. He just did it again, yeah. yeah. Male, female. And they said if I wanted to join them, no problem, so I got out a crab snare and did some crab fishing for a little bit. So Miguel says, I want to learn how to crab snare, never done it. Here's a new one right here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and use it. It's really easy. So that's the snares out. It's got six snares on it. This is the main line from the snare. This is what you tie your main line from your uh, fishing rod from. So I'm gonna cut this shark rig off, tie this on. So there it is, tied on. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put a snap on there and add a weight to make it heavier so I can cast it further. There's not much current here, but I probably, I might not even need it here, but the tide's gonna start coming in soon, so. I'm gonna put this snap down here on the end of it, away from on the opposite side of the main line. Put this weight on here. Just go ahead and cut me a chunk off of here. I'll just stuff this inside there. And stuff this inside here. And then close the door. Lock it. And that's ready to cast out. Like that. Give it a little pull back. Let it sink. It's on the bottom. Take up the slack. So my line's tight enough where if something's messing with it, I'll be able to see it. And I didn't show you this because it's a brand new snare and all the snares were open nice. But when you're working with a snare that's been used a while, uh, check all your snares and make sure the snares are open all the way before you cast out. Now we just wait 10 or 15 minutes and check it. Sometimes you'll see them messing with your line and you'll know they're there but sometimes um, you won't be able to tell they're messing with it so just check every 10 or 15 minutes even if it doesn't look like there's one on there just make sure you lift up fast and real and keep tension on them keep the snares tight I'm just gonna lift up and start reeling yep. <laughs> There you go, in a matter of minutes, and a nice male, nice male crab. That's a nice male, man. That's a good one. He's pissed off too. So I'm going to hold him by his legs, get some slack in my snare, and look at how easy it comes off. That's why you got to keep your line tight. 
what I need to do is make sure all my snares are open. See, it's closed. That's the one that was around his leg. Make sure I open them all back up so they can get into it. There he goes. He just pulled up a female. How's your bucket doing? I got, I got three in there. The big one at the bottom down there. Ooh. Female. Actually, that's a male. See the small tail? It's a male. It's time for me to pack it up and head over to the marina and shoot the interview. And then after that, I'm gonna head up the hill to the boathouse restaurant and get my grub on. Roger led our group for the better part of 40 years. When I was heading over to the marina this morning, I noticed the boathouse restaurant and the sign for the clam chowder and the fish and chips. And I knew that's what I was gonna have to get at the end of the day. And I was not disappointed. Clam chowder was really good. The fish and chips was really good. When I was in there, I saw they had calamari on the menu too, and I was like, oh, I know I can't eat that much, but I wanted that calamari, so next time I go up there, it's calamari. And the restaurant itself is pretty interesting inside. Big mounted salmon on the wall, and a bunch of different rockfish mounted. There's a big sturgeon head mounted on the wall that looks like it's been there for a while, and it looks like it was mounted prior to having to release them over 60 inches. Thanks for checking out the video. If you get a chance to go to Bodega Bay, I recommend it. It's a fun place to go hang out. We got a lot more fishing videos and stuff coming up soon, so stay tuned and as always, stay fishy.